Relationships are complicated. You know, yeah. when you're as good looking as you or me, and I relate to you in this respect, we could have anyone we want. I've, it's always been that way for me. Really? I just always found, like, because people say that about, like, uh, you know, being an actor or whatever. I just always think it actually kind of narrows things down. Like, it's sort of... It's true. The, it, it kind of... Because for one thing, you get all paranoid about everything. And you have no idea why people like you or whatever. And then also, like, most people, don't, they, they may think they want to have a relationship with you. But if they start having a relationship with you they actually realize like, ah, oh, this is not what I want at all. It's like, you know, you get all the crazies, you can't do anything. You basically have a, there's a, there's a big imbalance, like in the relationship yeah. and stuff. Like it's kind of, it's a tough, it's a I tough relationship. I never looked at it that way. You're right. Yeah. I mean, it does sort of narrow it. Down. Like you can't just go to a restaurant and pick up some girl because you, you could be looking at all kinds of legal problems and people are out to get you. That's they the other thing too. Yeah. Yeah. The woman you're with is like a, a, a really good singer. FK Twigs. And there's a racial element to that. People give, I can't even believe in this day and age, she gets shit from your fans because she's a black woman. Like, like yeah, I mean, people it, write her nasty things. Yeah, and it's like, well, it's kind of, it's like, it's. I think it's just professional trolls. Well, not that professional troll, but it's yeah. just people, they get so addicted to kind of just wanting to cause hurt and pain on someone. And it's sort of, and it's just one of the most difficult things to know how to, how to confront really because you're just like i don't know how to i mean it's, it's a faceless enemy and like, if, yes. if, some, if someone came up in the street and said it then it's one thing and it, you can you know you know what to do and you know what to say but when it's literally just this kind of like num like a little random name on instagram and some asshole in his basement and they're probably like in a different country somewhere and it's just like it's just crazy and you kind of and like it might seem fake to them but it's definitely like it's real like in in your life and uh, even if you think oh you can turn it off or whatever it's still like just to know it's there. It's like if you know that there's like one room in your house where like if you like listen up against the wall, you hear everyone talking shit about you. And then in the next room, like yeah. even if you don't go to that room, if whenever you feel bad about yourself, you're going to go down there and then like start listening to the whispers. I agree with you. I think it is yeah. the hardest thing. And as a guy, I know we all try to fix things. I, I know if someone attacks my wife on uh, Twitter or one of these things, you get crazy because you want to go. Fuck! I'm gonna I'm gonna go protect you from this, and you can't protect anybody from yeah. anything. You feel helpless. And then, it, and then you, I feel like you're feeding it afterwards as well. Like I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, I feel like it makes me feel like less powerful if you if you're trying to like you know it's trying to attack like trying to make it go away and it gets bigger. Yeah, it's trying to attack like a reflection in the water or something. You're just like punching. You just look crazy. Whereas you know you think the only way to show some kind of strength is like oh this none of this shit touches me. 